Kung given ang sequence, paano kaya natin malalaman ang general equation or nth term ng mga sequence na ito? Hmm. we talked about how to write the terms of a sequence given the general equation. And I left you an activity on the last part of my video. Kung sinagot nyo to, congratulations! You got them all right. And mega shout out, mega shout out, <laughs> mega shout out sa mga estudyante ko na nagsagot. And I'm very happy na in my own simple way nakakatulong ako sa inyo and nakakapag-advance study kayo. So now, for today, we're going to discuss paano naman kung baliktad. Given yung sequence, hahanapin natin yung general equation or yung general rule na nakapaloob sa sequence na ito. So let's find out. So for today's lesson, we're going to derive the general rule that describes the sequence. Ibig sabihin, we're going to generate the general equation or the general rule from a given sequence. And how are we going to do that? We're going to find a way that we can relate the n values to the term. And when we say n values, that is the relative position of the term. Let us have an example. We have here the sequence 1, 8, 27, and 64. So the first thing you have to do is write the n values for each term. Since 1 is the first term, the value of n is 1. 8 is the second term, the value of n is 2. For 27, the value of n is 3. And 64, the value of n is 4. You can designate each term as a sub n since we are looking for the general rule and that is the n term. Okay. After that, hanapin natin kung ano yung relasyon nung n sa a sub n or sa terms. Yung 1 sa 1, yung 2 sa 8, yung 3 sa 27, at yung 4 sa 64. So, kung mapapansin nyo, ni-raise natin ang n value sa 3. Bakit? 1 raised to 3, that is equal to 1. Because 1 times 1 times 1 is 1. 2 raised to 3, equal siya sa 2 times 2, 4 times 2 is 8. 3 raised to 3, that is equal to 3 times 3, which is 9. And times 3, that is 27. And 4 raised to 3, that is equal to 4 times 4, which is 16. Times 4, that is 64. So, kung mapapansin nyo, ang general equation natin ay a sub n equals, anong ginawa natin sa value ng n? Ni-raise natin siya sa 3. So, ibig sabihin, ang ating general equation ay n raised to 3. Therefore, the uh, equation of the given sequence 1, 8, and 7, 64 is a sub n equals n raised to 3. Since nakuha na natin ang general equation, madali na natin mahanap ang mga terms na gusto natin hanapin. For example, a sub 6. So, if we are going to look for a sub 6 or the 6th term, we have there 6 raised to 3. And 6 raised to 3 that is equal to 6 times 6 times 6. And this is equal to 216. Lumako tayo sa sunod nating example. Meron tayong sequence na 0, 2, 6, and 4. So the first thing we have to do, as what I have said, let us write the values of n for each term. For since 0 is the first term, that the value of n is 1, 2 is 2, for 6 that is 3, and for 12 that is 4, and so on. So let us represent the terms as a sub n. Now, we're going to look for the relationship of the values of n to the terms. Yung 1 sa 0, 2 sa 2, 3 sa 6, at 4 sa 12. Kung mapapansin nyo, if we multiply 1 by 0, the answer is 0. 1 times 0 is 0. If we multiply 2 by 1, the answer is 2. 2 times 1 is 2. If we multiply 3 by 2, 3 times 2 is 6. And if we multiply 4 by 3, the answer is 12. So, so makikita natin kung ano yung relasyon 
multiply natin ang n sa isang number na mas mababa ng isa sa kanya. So, 1 less than the, the value of n. Ibig sabihin, from the given pattern or way, you can say that a sub n is equal to 1, 2, 3, 4, that is n. And we multiply n by minus 1. Mas mababa kasi ng isa sa value ng n. Kaya, ang ating general equation ay a sub n equals n times n minus 1. Now, let's check if that is correct. Tingnan natin kung tama siya sa 4 term. So, since 4 term ang hanap natin, so that is a sub 4. To get a sub 4, let's substitute the value of n to the formula. So, 4 times 4 minus n. 1. 4 times 4 minus 1, that is 3. And 4 times 3 is sure. So, kung mapapansin nyo, equal silang dalawa. Hence, our general equation is a sub n equals n times n minus 1. Now, let us proceed to this example. We have the sequence 3, 5, 7, 9, 11. Let's write first the values of n for each term. So, that will become for 3 since that is the first term, that is 1. For 5, that is 2. 7, third term, that is 3. 9, that is the fourth term, so 4. And 11, since that is the fifth term, that is 5. And so on. Now, Kung papasin nyo sa sequence, meron tayong common difference. Da bakit? 5 minus 3 is 2. 7 minus 5 is 2. 9 minus 7, that is 2. And 11 minus 9, that is 2. Or, 3 plus 2 is 5. 5 plus 2 is 7. 7 plus 2 is 9. 9 plus 2 is 11. So, this is a different kind of sequence. So, kapag ganito yung case, ang gagawin natin since the common difference is 2, so a part of the equation is 2n. So, substitute natin ang value ng n sa given expression 2n at isusubtract natin sa mga terms. If n is 1, so therefore, 2 times 1 is 2. If n is 2, that is 2 times 2, which is 4. If n is 3, 2 times 3 is 6. If n is 4, 2 times 4 is 8. And if n is 5, that is 2 times 5 is 10. So, mapapansin natin, if, if we subtract the result from each term, we can get 3 minus 2 is 1. 5 minus 4 is 1. 7 minus 6 is is 1, 9 minus 8 is 1, and 11 minus 10 is 1. So, pare-pareho ang difference. Ibig sabihin, ang ating equation ay a sub n equals this one, 2n. Then, we're going to add the difference. So, that is plus 1. So, ang general equation natin ay a sub n equals 2n plus 1. Now, let's check if that is correct. O, let's say, hanapin natin itong quarter. 9. So, tingnan natin kung tama ang sagot. So, the equation is a sub n. Since we are going to get the fourth term, a sub 4 equals 2. The value of n is 4. So, 2 times 4 plus 1. So, checking lamang ito. So, 2 times 4, that is 8 plus 1. And 8 plus 1 is equal to 9. Ibig sabihin, kung mapapansin nyo, ito ay equal dito. Hence, the general equation of the given sequence is a sub n equals 2n plus 1. Let's have more examples. 3, 7, 11, and 15. So, the same thing. Let's write the values of n for each term. For 3, 
we have 1. For 7, we have 2. For 11, we have 3. And for 15, we have 4. Now, tina natin kung may common difference. 7 minus 3 is 4. 7, 11 minus 7, that is 4. And 15 minus 11 is 4. So, meron silang common difference. Ibig sabihin, 4 n Ngayon, let us substitute the value of each of n to the expression. Then, subtract it from the terms. n is 1. 4 times 1 is 4. If n is 2, 4 times 2 is 8. If n is 3, 4 times 3 is 12. And if n is 4, 4 times 4 is 16. Now, let's subtract. 3 minus 4 is negative 1. 7 minus 8 is negative 1. 11 minus 12 is negative 1. And 15 minus 16 is negative 1. Ibig sabihin, kung ito ang ating titingnan, ang ating general equation ay a sub n equals 4n then, let's add the difference. So, 4n minus 1. Oh, now let's check kung tama ang ating equation. Let's say, kunin natin itong 11. So, that is the third term. So, ibig sabihin, we're going to have a sub 3 equals 4 times 3 minus 1. And 4 times 3, that is 12. Then subtract 1 from it. So that is equal to 11. So ibig sabihin, ang ating general equation is a sub n equals 4n minus 1. Let's have the last example for, the, for deriving the general rule or the general equation of the given sequence. So we have here the expression or the sequence rather 0, negative 4, negative 8, negative 12 and so on. Now, let's uh, write the value of n for each term. We have 1, for 0, 2, for 4, since sec negative 4, since second, that is the second term, 3, for negative 8, since that is the third term, and 4, for negative 12. And let's represent the terms as a sub n. Meron kaya silang common difference? Negative 4 minus 0 is negative 4. Negative 8 minus negative 4, that is negative 4. Negative 12 minus negative 8 is negative 4. Then, so, na, right now, our uh, confused regarding this Let's have an example Let's say negative 8 and negative 8. If we subtract negative 8 And negative 4 So that is negative 8 minus negative 4 Ang rule natin dyan Ay Change the sign of the subtrend And proceed to addition So magiging negative 8 Change the sign daw ng subtrend That is negative magiging positive Then proceed to addition we sabihin, negative 8 plus 4. And negative 8 plus 4 is negative 4. So, sana malinaw ito sa inyo. Ngayon, since that is negative 4, we sabihin, we're going to use negative 4n. Now, substitute the values of n to this expression, then subtract it from the terms. If n is 1, negative 4 times 1 is negative 4. If n is 2, negative 4 times 2 is negative 8. If n is 3, negative 4 times 3 is negative 12. And if n is 4, negative 4 times 4 is negative 6. Now, let us subtract. 0 minus negative 4 is 4. So, I hope you don't have question regarding that. Now, let me clarify so that uh, it's easy for you. 
0 minus negative 1. Okay. Bakit? So, since that is subtraction, change the sign of the subtrend. So, that is 0 plus 4. Then, proceed to addition. And 0 plus 4 is 4. Let's continue. Negative 4 minus negative 8. That is 4. Negative 8 minus negative 12. That is 4. Then, negative 12 minus six, negative 16 is 4. Therefore, our general equation is a sub n equals negative 4n as 4. So, para mas magandang tingnan at hindi negative ang nasa unahan ng equation, pwede nating pagpalitin ng position. So, that will become a sub n equals 4 minus 4n. So, the position doesn't affect the sum or the difference. So, this is our general equation. Now, let's check if this is correct. Let's say the fourth term. Let's solve for the fourth term. So, a sub 4 is equal to 4 minus 4n. And the value of n is 4. Now, we have there 4 minus 4 times 4, that is 16. And 4 minus 16 is negative. As you can see, they are the same. Hence, our general equation is a sub n equals 4 minus 4n. So, ngayon titingnan natin kung may natutunan kayo sa ating lesson ngayong araw. So, you're going to write the equation that describes the given sequences. Number 1, we have negative 5, negative 2, 1, and 4, and so on. Number 2, we have 1, 4, 9, and 16. Number 3, we have 2, 1, 0, negative 1, and so on. And the last number is negative 1, 1, 3, and 5. And that's it. So, sana may natutunan naman kayong panibago today. Kung may mga tanong kayo regarding this, kindly write them sa comment section. And today, we are celebrating 900 subscribers. So, happy 900 subscribers. Happy 900 subscribers. Yoo! Okay, so actually, I made my videos to help students out there to cope up with the challenges that they are facing in this new normal way of education. So, sana uh, share it to them and don't forget to like and subscribe. So, once again, this is Sir Jay, ang inyong maestro na sitnayan na nag-iiwan ng katagang mag-aaral at matuto. Yeah.